Welcome to iLecture Online. On the previous video, we explored Hubble's law in the quest to try to understand what space is all about. What is space made of? What is space? And we discovered that galaxies are all moving away from us, and the galaxies that are far away from us, they're moving faster, the galaxies that are closer are moving slower, and it was found by Hubble and many others who came after him that the speed at which galaxies were moving apart from one another was a speed of 70 kilometers per second for every one megaparsec of distance. Now, what is a megaparsec? Well, mega means million, and one parsec is 3.26 light years. So, one megaparsec is a million parsec, which is 3.26 million light years. Now, what's a light year? Well, a light year is the distance that light travels in a single year. Now, light travels quite quickly at 300,000 kilometers per second. That's 186,000 miles every single second. That's the distance from here to the moon in less than two seconds. At that speed, how far can light travel in a single year? Well, we take a light year and we multiply it times 365 days per year. And in one day, there are 86,400 seconds per day. And then in each second, light travels 300,000 kilometers per second. So multiply all that times 3.26 million, and you get 3.08 times 10 to the 19 kilometers. So 3.26 million light years, a megaparsec, is equal to about 3 times 10 to the 19 kilometers. It's a phenomenal number. It's really, it's a gigantic distance. So, if something is moving away from us at 70 kilometers every second, well, how far is that in a year? So we take 70 kilometers per second, we multiply times 86,000 seconds in a day, 365 days in a year, and it turns out that it's 2.2 billion kilometers per year. So galaxies that are one million per second apart from one another will travel away from each other at about 2.2 billion kilometers per year. Now, 2.2 billion kilometers is not a lot compared to 3.26 million light years, but it's significant and yes, we can see that galaxies are indeed all moving apart from one another. Then my wife asked, well, does that mean that the moon is moving away from us? Does that mean that the sun is moving away from us? Does all of space expand? And the answer is probably. So let's calculate how far the moon would move away from us in a single year at this scale, at the same, for the same reason as the Hubble constant, for the same reason that galaxies are moving apart from one another. And of course, we understand that gravitational forces may fight against that because the Earth and the moon are attracted to one another gravitationally. It may not be affected as much by the expansion of space. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We don't know for sure. So at least let's calculate that. And so we can say that if something is 3.08 times 10 to 19 kilometers away, which is one megaparsec, it will move apart 2.2 billion kilometers during the year. And if we scale that to the distance between Earth and the Moon, then how far would that be in a year as far as the distance expanding between the Earth and the Moon? And if you solve this equation for x, you get 2.76 centimeters. So based upon the expansion of space, the moon should move away from us at 2.76 centimeters per year. Now, is the moon actually doing that? Well, it turns out that back during the Apollo missions, they actually put reflectors on the surface of the moon, and we can send laser beams to those reflectors, and we've been trying to figure out whether or not the moon is moving away from us. And it turns out that we actually measured the moon receding from us, the recessional velocity, at 3.78 centimeters per year which is in the ballpark of the number that we calculated here. But is it due to Hubble law or is it due to something else? And it turns out it's probably due to something else because the moon causes a bulge to exist on the Earth. It's called the tidal bulge. The oceans rise and fall with the gravitational attraction of the moon as the moon revolves around the Earth and as the Earth spins on its axis. And since the Earth spins on its axis in a 24-hour period, the tidal bulge gets the head of the line directly between the Moon and the Earth, and the gravitational force pulls on that bulge that it causes, and therefore it essentially causes the Earth 
to slow down in its rotation and in addition to that it tends to pull on the moon speeding the moon up and as the moon speeds up as it goes around the earth faster and faster and faster the centripetal forces are such that the moon will then recede away from the earth and we calculate it to be about this number which means that the additional effect of the Hubble law doesn't appear to be affecting the distance between the moon and the earth. What about the distance between the sun and the earth? Well if you do the same calculation here but now instead of 385,000 kilometers as the distance between, between the earth and the moon we picked 150 million kilometers as the distance between the earth and the sun and then based upon Hubble law the sun should be moving away from us at more than 10 meters per year which is actually significant now are we able to measure that? That's a lot more difficult to do because the Sun doesn't have a solid surface and it's very difficult to measure the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So are we indeed moving away from the Sun at that rate? It's very difficult to, to, to measure because 10.8 meters, that's a very, very slow velocity that is virtually not measurable. So in the case of the Earth and the, the Sun, it's very difficult to verify that that's indeed happening. And then in addition to that, the gravitational force between the Earth and the Sun may negate the effect of the Hubble law. The Hubble law needs a lot more space, many millions of light years in between, for the gravitational forces to not to be that effective. It's one of our dogs running around. So, to conclude, we do realize that there's places in space where there's a lot of galaxies clustered together. For example, the Virgo galaxy cluster has 2,500 galaxies, and there's so many galaxies in a relatively small amount of space. Of course, when I say small amount of space, it's a huge amount of space, but they're very densely clustered together, that we see other galaxies being pulled towards that cluster, and so therefore we do realize that there's gravitational exceptions to the overall Hubble rule, which may be the case between Earth and the Moon, and the Sun and the Earth. But who knows, there may still may be an effect. It may still be that there's a slight amount of separation between the Moon and the Earth due to Hubble law. Space is expanding, there's no question about it. Galaxies are moving apart. Does it affect objects within the solar system? We still have to wait to find out. And that is how it is. So you don't know. <laughs> Not sure. We're not sure if it affects the distance between the two, right? There's a lot of other factors that play a role and to pull that one out and be able to tie a number to it that's different from the other, the other calculated numbers, it's, we're not sure yet at that point.